Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Raw Fishing. Today we're at the Hive Ranges. So this is actually a live firing range. Uh, so I always check the board, which is on the beach as you walk into them and make sure they are not firing because they are firing live ammunition here. Anyway, enough with the safety talks. I'm pretty sure they're not going to be firing tonight. If they are, I'll hide behind my mate Simon, no problem. Um, I have a 13 foot beach caster, which is a die with super cast and a 7,000 size pen surf blaster 2 and the rig I'm going to start with on this rod is a size 2 free flapper now hopefully you can see three bits of ragworm dangling that is mainly the bait I'm going to use tonight I've got a bit of squid and I've got a scad on me that I caught a few weeks back uh, I'm going to use a 6 ounce lead you can see the sea behind me to be honest I might get away with 5s or 4s but just going to try it out with a 6 to begin with uh, the location I'm at has plenty of sandbars and gullies uh, so I'm going to try and aim one rod into a closer in gully and the other rod into a further out gully and see what happens. Uh, just quickly while I'm here, I'll show you the rig on this rod. This rod has a two up, one down, clip down rig so I'll show you how it clips down in a bit. Uh, size four hooks on it so it could catch me sole or any flat fish as well and i've chosen a clip down rig because i'm going to have to cast into the wind so the wind's coming west southwest so it's coming in from dungeness over there and i'm going to use this clip down rig to try and help me blast out into the wind a bit better anyway let's get this free flapper out there nice and close and see what might be swimming close in Right guys, this is one of my favourite rigs. I hope I'm close enough to the camera for you to see. So, two up, one down, clip down. Obviously, we've got one down below the weight. Now, how you clip that up? Bring the hook up and clip it to the bottom of the breakaway weight there. And then bring the snood line over these little pieces that I manufacture myself out of earth cable and paper clips. and just hook it over the little bar coming out. Take the second snood above and bring that down and attach that to the breakaway weight. And with that snood, have that attached with a, what do you call it, a cascade swivel. And then the top snood comes down and clips down onto that cascade swivel. Now this is an absolutely lethal rig. You can catch all sorts of variety of fish. You can make it with whatever size hook you want. I've gone for quite small, well, very small size four hooks. Let's get it out there and see if there's any flat fish or sold around. It's only taken a few minutes guys and we're on the free flapper pretty close in yeah. it's not a very strong bite it's definitely a fish there but i'm going to leave it for a bit longer and see if i can't get any uh any more fish on the same rig it's three hooks on it and three bits of worm so i'll let it soak for a minute and hopefully not lose the fish that's on there Anyway, I'll bring you back when we're reeling in. There guys, still string of lightning and dogfish. Alright oh, guys, my first reading on the country rod has also produced a whiting. Oh, guys, if you can't beat them, use them. This is a whiting live bait, panel styly running ledger. Gonna get that out there a little way and hopefully a bass will eat it. 
Right guys, the whiting and the dogfish are absolutely relentless tonight. But I have managed to find a flatty amongst them. Uh, <clears throat> dab flounder. I'm not too sure. I find it hard to tell. I do not think it's a place. But it might. <laughs> Useful information, I know. Here we go guys, fishing away at the ranges and Simon here has just caught himself a nice little strap conga. Let's try to get a bit closer in on it. Got a little bit of chunk to it. I've got a very subtle bite on the continental rug there. Something is checking out the squid. I'm gonna give it a few more seconds and then uh, reel it in and see what might be interested in it. I feel like the line's traveling round to the left as well, so hopefully that means a fish. Oh, well, guys, I knew I had a ray on the line as soon as I leaned into it. And we've pulled in this female formback ray. I'd say maybe four or five pound, but we'll get the scales down in a set and try to find out. Happy days, different species. Love the patterns on these guys. Right, quick wait on him and we'll get him back. Oh, two seconds. I've got a tape measure here. Let's try to see how long it is, or wide it is across from wing to wing. That's coming up uh, about 46 centimetres. Roundabouts. Alright, let's grab the scales, weigh it in, and we'll get it back. Here we go guys, another species for tonight. This is a small starry smooth hound. And he was caught on a squid and scad cocktail on a four row putty panel. Beautiful little guys, aren't they? Oh well, let's get him back. Completely swallowed that. It's just in his, in his thing. In his lip there, yeah. But no, I sent about the white thing. Oh. That's she. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. Well, guys, I did not expect to catch this 20 feet out on a white and live bait. Decent size female form back ray. Uh, it's on very small white and only yay big, a bit longer. So yeah, if anything, I, th I thought I was going to catch a bass on that. 
I've never known these to come in that close before. Get a quick weight on it, and I think we'll pop it back. Right guys, last fish of the night here. It's another formback ray, and I notice it's another female one. Now, what I've mainly been catching these guys on tonight is a whole squid on a pulley panel rig. I did manage to catch that one earlier on a live bait, only 20 feet out. So, good amount of these formback rays around. Anyway, we'll get it back to the sea, and we'll see you guys next time.